Hey guys, thanks for coming to the channel. Next to my 2022 Ford Maverick XLT Hybrid. So the reason why I'm here is that I'm gonna be talking about some hacks when you're driving with this vehicle. So we'll be right back. 2022 Hybrid XLT. Um, I'm assuming the EcoBoost is similar, but since I don't have one on hand and there's not one available, I'm gonna guess it's 99.9% .9 likely. So anyways, XLs and XLTs have a flip key. Uh, the Lariats, I think, with the extra feature Lux package has a push button start. So I'm gonna be talking about the, what the majority of the Mavericks have, because I know that this is gonna be the majority. So again, it's a flip key. I'm gonna talk about this thing, but, or why I don't like about it in my next video. But anyways, I'm gonna start it up, give you some tips. So I'm gonna start it, let me turn off the radio. So what's happening? All right, so I started a car. So what I'm gonna be talking about is a couple things I noticed. So one thing, if you haven't noticed, is that the gear shifter is round. It's not a lever. So when you're putting in different things, gears, you're, you know, you're just gonna turn it. And if you didn't know, you can actually infinite, infinitely turn this either way. It's not gonna lock it up. So this FYI, uh, that's not the hack, but the hack is if I were to put the emergency brake on, so you can see the parking brake is on, instead of having to push this button to release it, you just push it here. See on the bottom right there, it's showing brake off on. If I'm ready to drive, see the brake is on, right? So the brake is on there. If I'm ready to drive, I'm in drive. All I gotta do is, I'm, I'm pausing, but if I let go, if I hit the gas, it releases the parking brake. So that's one thing, but it does feel weird. So just to let you know, if you forget to turn on the uh, turn off the brake, parking brake, it's gonna feel a little bit jerky hitting off, but that's one thing you can work. So instead of the old school lever, if you left it on, you could literally drive with the parking brake on and cause damage. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is that if you have the Ford 360, like I do, you have this button. A lot of people don't know what this is. This is called auto hold. So if I'm in drive, which I am, um, if this is on auto hold, when I hit the brake, you see my foot there? If I let go of the brake, I'm in drive. I'm not going anywhere, you can see. And right there is the auto hold light. So when you see that light, that means you're on auto hold. So, similar to the concept of the emergency brake, if I hit the gas, then I'm going, see? The auto hold releases, and then uh, I'm going. And you can see there, auto holds back on because my foot is on the brake because I don't want to drive too much more forward. So that's another hack. So that's hack number two. So my third driving hack, this is just for the driving stuff, is I am, in drive, or I could be in reverse. Let me just put in reverse. I'm just gonna put in reverse to show you things so that my camera's on and beeping. If you can't hear it, when I'm ready, when I, when I'm done, I don't have to put it in drive. So you can see it's in drive there, and you can just you know turn the ignition, OG stuff. But if I'm in reverse, you can see here, or in drive, or neutral, it doesn't matter. As soon as I take out the key, it goes to park. See, and the park brake is on because I guess it remembers the setting. So that's another hack. That's the third hack here. Let's start it back up, see if the parking brake's on. The one thing I noticed is that the parking brake doesn't have a light. So this is ready to drive. Okay, so there's no parking brake. So that's how it is right there. So again, I'm in drive. Keys the ignition. I think if you have a lariat with a push button, you could just push it. But again, I don't have one to test. So if I turn that, you see it move to park, and then I'm all set. Get out the car, lock the door, and that's it. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you know, I really appreciate doing that. Post your comments below. Just a little uh, driving hacks, three driving hacks that I thought about. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I really appreciate it if you did. 
don't forget to hit the like button thumbs up the video and uh, post your comments on the bottom all right thanks again guys peace out <laughs>